everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety topic video. Before we get started, make sure that you give me that thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos. Also subscribe to the channel that way you'll be notified whenever a new video is released. And be sure to share with your uh, associates and co-workers and also comment. If you have a comment or if you need a video that needs to be made, be, make sure you put something in the comments down below. Well, let's go ahead and get started. This week's topic is entitled, It's All in the Plan. Now, I'm here today to talk to you about something that should be at the forefront of every project, every task, and every decision we make. Safety. Yes, safety. It's not just a buzzword. It's not just a checkbox on a form. It's the very foundation upon which our industry stands. And today I want to emphasize that safety, my friends, it's all in the planning. You see, there's a saying that goes, plan your work and work your plan. And nowhere is it truer than in the realm of safety. We can't just dive headfirst into a project without considering the potential hazards that may arise. We can't afford to be reactive. We must be proactive. And that's where the pre-task plan comes into play. The pre-task plan, it's not just a piece of paper to be filled out and filed away. It's a roadmap to safety. It's a blueprint for success. It's where we break down each task into its component parts, where we identify potential hazards, and where we devise strategies to mitigate those hazards. It's where we take the time to anticipate and to prepare, because when it comes to safety, there's no room for complacency. Let's talk about task, hazard recognition, and hazard mitigation the three pillars of the pre-task plan. Task, what are we doing? What are the steps involved? What equipment will we need? And then hazard recognition, what could possibly go wrong? Are there any environmental factors we need to consider? Are there any potential hazards inherent in the task itself? And finally, hazard mitigation. How can we minimize or eliminate these risks? Do we need additional safety measures or do we need to revise our approach? Now, some may argue that all this planning takes time, time that could be better spent getting the job done. But I say to you, my friends, that safety considerations are not a hindrance to progress. They are the key to it. Because we take the time to plan, when we prioritize safety in our job planning, we ensure not only the safety of our workers, but also the timely and efficient completion of the project. Think about it. How much time and money do we waste when accidents occur? How many delays do we incur when injuries happen on the job? How many lives are forever altered because we failed to plan adequately? The cost of cutting corners, of taking shortcuts, of ignoring safety protocols, it's simply too high. But when safety is ingrained in our planning process, when it becomes second nature to consider potential hazards and devise strategies to mitigate them, we not only protect the well being of our workers, but we also protect the bottom line. We minimize downtime, we reduce insurance costs, and we enhance our reputation as a company that values safety above all else. So my friends, let us remember that safety, it's not just a slogan, it's a mindset. It's a commitment to excellence. It's a recognition that well-being of our workers is paramount. And it all starts with the planning, the careful, meticulous planning that ensures every task is completed safely. Every hazard is identified and addressed and every project is completed on time and on budget. In conclusion, let us never forget that safety is not just a goal to be achieved. It's a journey that requires constant vigilance and dedication. So let us plan our work, let us work our plan, 
and let us always prioritize safety above all else. All right, boys and girls, that's that's the way I feel about it. That pre-task plan, even from the even before that, when an estimator looks at a project, if he's not ingrained with safety, if he doesn't understand that perhaps he may have to use a special kind of equipment to do this type of work or the demolition process that he's looking at may be different than what he's thinking. So it, it takes a, a it, from the very beginning, uh, safety has to be planned because if an estimator decides to do it one way and the team gets on there and they go, no, it can't be done this way. It has to be done this way and it may be cheaper but in my experience, it always ends up to be more expensive. And then you have the project manager, the estimator, and the owner uh, complaining because th there's cost overruns in areas that they weren't expecting. So planning, 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 and always have safety as a forefront. Well, I'm going to wrap this thing up. Listen, guys, thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. Make sure you give me that thumbs up down below to help encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also, subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when there's a new video released. And feel free to share this. Share this with your coworkers and your associates so that they might be able to get something from it. And by all means, I want you to comment. Make a comment on what you think about this video or if there's a comment on the other 200 videos that I've already made or if there's a special case where you need a video to help with your team training, let me know and we'll get something together for you. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits. As always, have a grateful day and we'll see you in the next one. Let's see how that turned out.